Growing up, playing NCAA football games, man, Road to Glory was my favorite game mode, man. I wasn't a dynasty guy. It was all about Road to Glory. It was all about creating my guy and trying to cement myself in college football greatness on the Mount Rushmore, breaking stats, working my way up to being one of the greats. And that's exactly what we are about to do right now. So welcome to the Road to Glory series here. And it's it's very exciting. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I can't wait to see with what they have done with the game mode. And let's get right into it, man. So we are going to be playing as a scrambler quarterback. I think it'd be fun to start out as an underdog. I want to start out as an underdog. Blue chip would be fun. And yes, we get abilities. But starting out as an underdog quarterback, we got to work our way up the ladder and get the job done it is exactly where I want to be. So let's get right into it. Meet Chip Rocket, the 60 overall, 6'3", 215 scrambler out of Seattle, Washington. And he is here to prove that he has what it takes to work up from a two-star up to the ranks of the greatest college football players of all time. The journey starts now. Let's go, man. Make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you are not already subscribed, consider subscribing, man. We're grinding these games, these football games. College football 25, Madden 25, all the way through, man. So hit that sub button. Hit that noti bell so you can keep up with any future uploads as well. And let's get into it. Hello, Chip. I'm a local reporter covering your college decision. I've got a few questions. Which of these things is most important to you as you're wearing your options? Going to a respected institution Finding a program that will develop me is very important as he's a 60. Which of these? Going to a program with a storied history, playing for the same head coach for my entire career, playing for a prestigious coach. Let's play for the same head coach. We want to develop along with our coach, man. And we are from Seattle, so going somewhere in the Northwest would be proximity to my hometown. I don't really care about that, though. Let's go fun college experience. All right. It's National Signing Day, and our top offer is is from Northwestern. We'd be a second string player. Everyone else is offering us a bench spot. We go to Northwestern. We got an opportunity to be a second stringer, potentially be a starter. First string guy is a senior. So we, if we could pass Lausch in year one, we'd have a chance to start next year. And they're not very good, but hey, we'd have an opportunity, man. Otherwise, you know, we're looking at Utah State. Um, we could go Air Force. We are a scrambler quarterback. We go Air Force, and we have an opportunity to, to really get some rush yards and take advantage of our legs. We've got a B-plus school fit at Air Force. We've got a D-plus school fit at Utah State. Northwestern A-minus is the best I've seen. We'd be a walk-on down here. So I'm not necessarily worried about being the starter so quickly. Um, I just want to be on a team where we can develop and where we have an opportunity to really develop over the long term and potentially win some stuff. Now, Northwestern is in the Big Ten. We'll have an opportunity to be good um, versus like if I go sign with a Mac school, I'm looking at transferring. The, the, probably not going to be able to take those schools to what it takes. So I am going to go Northwestern here. I think it's the best option. Um, I, it might be more fun to go into an option scheme and play in the Veer uh, or something like that. Maybe go Air Force would be a good opportunity. But we're going to give a uh, master motivator here. We're going to give Northwestern a shot and see what we can do in the Big Ten, tearing it up as the immediate second stringer. Let's go. Chip Rocket your newest Northwestern Wildcat quarterback. All right, here we go. We only get two skill points because we are such a low overall player. So we really have to be smart about how we're spending these. Um, and I think we already 78 speed. It costs us nine to get a quickness upgrade or one for IQ. So play action, carrying ball carry vision, awareness, getting that up might be really beneficial um other than that it's really expensive maybe elusiveness would be also a really good move iq is just so low i'm going iq i'm upgrading iq here and then i'm gonna i have to save the last one so it's all we can do right now we are going up to a 62 overall player which is awesome 
and advancing the week. Let's go. Hopefully, we can uh, make some moves in year one. Maybe get some playing time here and there and see what happens. Now, there are a lot of different factors it looks like you have to keep in mind and, and worry about. Ooh, we've activated a position battle for QB2. That's where they wanted us to play, but we have to battle for it. We, if we lose, we're QB3. If we win, we're the, the backup. So our guy looks so insane. Throw it. Throw it. I'm hitting the button. It's not letting me. I can't. I can't. I have to restart this. I clearly don't understand the rules. Skate the pocket before it becomes a penalty zone. Buy time until the time to throw timer runs out. Then make a throw to an open receiver. You'll be awarded points for yards such as a hot spot scoring. Okay, so we have to get out of the pocket. Go get 400. Okay. Completed, but we got to beat 10,000 points to Helensky. So how are we going to score? This, this is the worst play for them to call. I mean, nobody's open. The route trees are terrible. How am I supposed... There's nobody even in the end zone. That's not even caught. Yeah, their chip. Bounced off his head. All right. Well, that was damn near impossible. Uh, let's see how this one goes. Uh, position your QB to dodge projectiles while destroying as many targets as possible. Look at the butter here. Bronze earned. Oh, we crushed his score. We won that one. Okay, we got to win this one. Option attack. This should be where we come alive, boys. Evade the defender score as many touchdowns as possible. You can release the snap button to hand off the ball or to hold to keep it. Read the defensive keys, whether to hand off, keep, or pitch. You'll be awarded points based off successful moves, long run, celebrating during the play. Touchdowns increase your multiplier. Okay. Give me a block chip. Chip. All right, we scored a touchdown. That was weird as hell, though. We can't control this guy. This is AI control, but it's okay for the running back to score. It actually doesn't matter as long as we just they just want us to make the right read. And it's pretty much to the running back every time is the right read. It's like the defenders are running in glue. And we have won the QB2 battle. The only one we redid, we lost. So it was all it was all legit. Look at Chip. Look at Chip Rocket off to the races. And that will be QB2. Icing on the cake, baby. Look at this. Look at Chip get out of there. Look at Chip get out of there. Look at Chip get out of there. Come on. You gotta love it. Battle one, Chip Rocket. 700 coach trust earned, and we are the, now the QB2. Ryan Holinsky down to QB3. Let's go. That's all us. That's all us, baby. That's all Chip. So you also have to, like, worry about these uh, these things here. So you have six energy per week. I think exam in eight weeks, you have to pretty much get prepared. And if you, like, fail your exam, then I think you can't play is kind of the vibe there. Uh, local hero here. So we have 100 out of 100 people. Interact consistently with your fans to grow engagement. We can also train to earn extra skill points. That seems very important. Uh, the next one will be three, so we'll hold off on that. One to socialize with people. We just gained 25 extra fans. Got to replenish our health each, each week. We're probably not going to play much, so I don't think that'll be too important right now. And then probably to study. And then maybe do one for leadership. So oh, we have one left. We'll study again. All right, now we're out of energy, and we are moving on to next week. Let's go. Hey, Rocket, welcome to the quarterback room. It's a good group. I'll try to help if you've got any questions. Just don't think you're going to take my job anytime soon. Got it. Should I talk back to him? <laughs> you might be the main guy for now, but I've arrived. I don't plan on being a backup for long. Don't forget it, Mike, right? Leadership decrease. Your teammates respect you a little less? No. All right, so we got some energy left for our weekly agenda. I do want to try and get an, another skill point. 
All right, we did. Oh, wait. We're just on the brink of getting another skill point. Definitely need to get some uh, leadership back. Did get an XP, so we got another skill point, and we'll spend these two on leadership. There we go. We now have two skill points. So I think we're just going to save those and see what matters most. And then we do have practice here. So I think we should be training early on since we won't be playing a second string QB. Um, and I think option attack clearly is the best option here. There's Chip. Chip, off to the races, buddy. Get in the end zone. There we go. One play left. Hand it off. Get in the end zone, buddy. Get gold. Gold secured. Let's go. 500 Coach Trust. There we go. Coach Trust is really important, I feel like, for getting upgrades and moving up the depth chart. I think that's how we get another position battle. So we did level up because of practice. Another skill point coming our way. Coach Trust update. I don't know what all that means as far as those little boxes go, but hey. Taking on Miami of Ohio in week one. Let's go take care of business. This is a max school. We should be able to handle business, man. Come on. We'll hold it down on the bench. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get on the field at all. Maybe the starter gets injured. Who knows? 3 nothing Miami early. We punch it back for 3. It's 10-3. We are 10-10. 17-10, dude. Defense got to get it together. We are at risk of getting up. It's 24 to 10, dude. We just got upset by a Miami of Ohio at home in week one. Holy shit, dude. Are you kidding? Upset by a Miami of Ohio in week one. We cannot get on the field. We do not see the field. That's unacceptable. That we were much better than them on paper and just... Sim seems to be very prompted for upset in College Football 25. Okay, another level up, though. Another skill point. Going on to week number two. We got to hope to get in the W column here soon. We'll do probably two to three games per. Just because we're not playing, they don't take long. So it's going to be a lot of training early until we are the starter. I have another position battle. He's challenging me again. Yeah, we need to keep our GPA above a 2.0 in order to play. We also have to study for exams throughout the season. Ricky Slicks Barbershop NIL offer. Here we go. What's up, Ricky? Got it. our first NIL deal signed. And we have a position battle here to keep our QB2 job. This may happen often. There's a laser beam from Chip. He's got a rocket arm on him. We destroyed him in this drill. Polinski, you're not getting your job back, buddy. It's not happening. Touchdown. There we go. Oh, we, we smoked him. We are keeping our job. Easily. Easily. Maybe they, we lost last week. Maybe they should make us QB1, man. Come on. I had to turn off my turn down my light, man. I was glowing. We've already won two out of three. Why do we need to do the last one? I'm going to throw a block for you, buddy. What a block. What a block by Chip Rocket. I never get to keep the ball, bro. Like, I always have to hand it off. That's the most boring drill ever. Start watching a Netflix movie while I'm doing this. Just hand it off over and over. Look at that. Look at that pitch. Look at the sacrificial... Like, just the willingness to sacrifice his body by Chip Rocket. Battle one, Chip Rocket. Don't you dare test me. You get 1,500 coach trust earned as well. We smoked him. Let there not be another challenge for a while. Don't question Chip. We're almost up near the, the QB above us. I think once we're above him, we'll stop getting challenged so often, probably. And now we got our weekly agenda here. We only have one energy this week. That's just, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Our GPA is still pretty close to three. I'm going to spend this on socializing. Taking on Duke. Let's get it done. Can we get our first win of the season here? We probably, again, will not see the field, but we will see. Chip Rocket will be warm and ready to step in should they need him against the Blue Devils. Come on. 
Still 0-0 zero, zero here. 7 nothing. we're down. Dude, our offense is bad. 7-7, seven, seven, here we go. Okay, maybe a turn or turning point for Northwestern. Okay, we're up 14-7. Let's go, baby. Got to hang on. 14-14. Oh, no. End of the game. They scored three. We lost. Right at the end, we gave up 10 unanswered in the fourth and lose. We are 0-2 now. That's terrible. They need to consider Chip Rocket as a starter. The, the, this starter's not getting the damn job done. He's not. Still haven't seen the field yet. Might take a couple more weeks. Probably maybe even a season. We'll see, though. We're still grinding. We're moving up the ranks of the, of the coach trust here. And we are headed for week number three. Let's go. We're going to party off campus. Don't you have that lab, though? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to my lab, man. I'm not skipping my lab. I want a chance to start. Not going to be an asshole. Weekly agenda. We got, we got energy here. Spend two. I'm going to spend three to get another skill point, dude. Wait, exam is in five weeks. We actually probably need to start preparing for that. Yeah, we need to start to prepare a little bit. Or else we're, we're going to be ineligible. And that's going to, by our luck, be the week they want us to start. So, let's get in practice, man, and go get some uh, coach trust. I'm going to throw a block for you downfield, buddy. Keep going. Oh, look at the block. Look at the block by Chip. I don't think we're going to get gold, but we will get silver. Didn't even get silver. We can't redo it. Got bronze that time. That was a tough one. All right, this needs to be a win. FCS Midwest, get on the board. Final game of the episode. Let's get a W, man. Come on. No more losses, man. Hopefully we blow them out and, and Chip can get some work in the game. First quarter's over and we're it's still 0-0. I mean, we're down. All right, 7-3. God, this offense is terrible. We are literally can barely score against FCS we're losing and now this team has fallen into a how the hell did we lose against FCS Midwest what is happening put chip rocket in the game coach please a change needs to be made Owen oh, three and you are losing against an FCS school like dude it's this is laughable. If you don't put Ship Rocket in the game, we we might not win a game all year. I mean, this is laughable. The offense is atrocious. Like they defense did a good job, 15 points. Offense can't score against FCS Midwest. We got or Northwest or whatever. We got a big time problem in the Midwest. Yeah, what a joke. 0 and 3 here, and. It, we are the laughing stock of the Big Ten. So that's going to be it for this one, boys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and are excited to see what Chip Rocket can do in Road to Glory, man. Once Chip Rocket becomes a starter, the training wheels are off. We're full steam ahead all aboard the train, man. So I'll see you guys later. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.